everybody. This is Travis Wilson, Director of Economic Development for the City of Florissant. It's Friday in the Valley of Flowers, and you know what that means. It means it's time to grow in flow. You are absolutely right. <laughs> I'm here with Tasha Fox, and we are at Chick-fil-A here on Highway 67 in Florissant. Tasha, we would like to know more about your business. How long have you been a business owner here? Um, let's see, so we opened January uh, t uh, 2019, so it's been about a year and a half, a little over a year and a half. Year and a half, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and so obviously being a business owner, it's a dream that you've had. Yes. You know, tell us how you came to decide on Chick-fil-A and also decide on Florissant. Yes, uh, well, Chick-fil-A in particular, I love their vision, which is to glorify God by being a faithful steward of all of that's entrusted to us and to have a positive influence on all who come in contact with Chick-fil-A. Like my personal life's mission is just to be a good steward. Whatever I have, whether it's my house, my car, my business, to just take care of it and be a good steward. And then to just have a positive impact on people. Like I love people, particularly young people. Um, and growing up, I had advocates, I had mentors, had all these people around me, um, and that was a blessing, but to be able to be that for another young person or my team members. So as a business owner, for me, um, to tie Chick-fil-A's mission with my own personal mission, it just fit. And I will say, I was in finance for 20 years. I worked for Edward Jones for 17 years. Great place to be. And the only reason I would ever leave Edward Jones would be for, for Chick-fil-A, um, and so, you know, if you're going to spend your hours in a business, your own business, you want it to match up with what you oh, absolutely. are passionate about. So I'm passionate about young people, I'm passionate about leadership, and I'm passionate about the community. So it just works. It all works together. What was it about the community of Florissant that really made you feel that passion? Mm -hmm. um, Florissant has such a rich history. Um, and I mean, I drive around and I see these Florissant strong signs. And it's just a testament to our community. Um, people are, are nice, it's diverse, um, they're proud, um, and it's, it's a great place for a business like Chick-fil-A where you know, you're about the people. We're not in the chicken business, we're in the people business. And to be in a community like Florissant where they're, they're just so supportive. When we opened up grand opening, just the, I mean, they were here at four in the morning lined I up. <laughs> um, I and so to be in a community like Florissant where they really support the businesses, they support each other as a community, and we come together. When, when times get rough, we come together and we come out and support. So um, I actually live in Hazelwood, so a neighbor of, of Florissant, sure, and sure. you know, you never know where it stops and where the other one begins. So it's like home for me. I, I do life in Florissant, to be able to do business in Florissant and serve the people that I do life with, it's, it's like amazing. Well, and clearly the community really likes your business. Every time I drive by, <laughs> the cars are stacked all the way around the building. Oh my gosh, yes. You know, I'm just amazed. I, I'll come here and I'll just sit in the parking lot and I just watch the people um, and right now we're drive through only, so the guests can't come in, but you know, prior to the pandemic, being able to come in here and talk to guests. I'll sit down and talk to the guests and to see their kids playing in the play area and you know, mothers with their laptops just working away and the kids are playing. Like, this is a place where you can bring your family or if this is you know, kids home from school, they come to Chick-fil-A and they just hang out. Um, and so to be able to feed people and watch them kind of enjoy their family dynamics in your place of business. Absolutely. It's amazing. And I, I enjoy the conversations that I have with the guests. So there was a guest um, that I just happened to walk by and I said, ma'am, are you okay? And she looked at me and she's like, I'm not okay. She had just lost her son the oh week goodness. before. Yes. And I said, can I give you a hug? And she said, yes. And I hugged her and we're both crying and I'm just encouraging her. And she left and then 30 minutes she came back and she just said, I wanted to say thank you for giving me the words of encouragement right when I needed it. And I just thanked her for being honest Absolutely. about she wasn't okay. She could, you know, most people would say, oh, I'm good, thank you. But she was honest and we shared that moment in my parking lot. And I'm just like, 
this is where I'm supposed to be, to be able to change lives just by operating, you know? Absolutely. And it, like I said, it's not about the chicken. The chicken is great. Our food is fantastic. But it's the young people that are taking the orders, working the drive through in the kitchen, um, serving the guests. Like, that's what it's about. And to be able to have that in the fluorescent community, hopefully it makes us even stronger. Well, we, we in our house feel very strongly about Chick-fil-A. Yay. We had both both of our thank you, both of our both of our boys. We have three children, a uh -huh. girl and two boys. Okay. And um, uh, one of when our middle child was born, he was born prematurely, and so we were part of the NICU yes. here at Mercy yes. Hospital. Uh -huh. And um, Chick Fil A provided us with Chick Fil A for a year. Oh my gosh, you were one of those lucky people. <laughs> it, you, you know what? It's it's. It's about that community, that yes. sense of community and taking care of one another. Yes. And that's definitely something that I can feel. I'm sure your customers can feel. Thank you so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. It Absolutely. really is. And so before we go, is there anything else you want anybody to know about your business? Um, well, I would just want them to know that it's our pleasure to serve them. We're closed on Sundays, um, but Monday through Saturday, like we love and appreciate our guests um, during this time of the pandemic. Hopefully. Our, our little um, cow masks will bring joy to people. Yes, yes. <laughs> we love these. Reminding um, them to eat more chicken. Eat more chicken. Eat yes, more chicken. Yes, eat more chicken. Um, but we just want to say thank you. It's our pleasure to serve um, the city of Fl Florissant. Um, we're here um, a year and a half, and we want to he be here 10, 20 more years. Um, if they'd have us, we just want to thank them for their support. And anything we can do, any organizations, donations, um, the cow, we come out. So if in there, anyone in the community, they need us to support their cause or to just show up, come see us. Very cool. Let's talk about your contact. What's your address? Yes, we are at 3159 North Highway 67. That's at the corner of Lindbergh and New Halls Ferry. Very cool. Yes, and phone sir. number? Our phone number is 314-839-6533. Perfect. And can they order online and where do they do that? Absolutely. So we have an awesome app called the Chick-fil-A One app. Place your order online. Once you get to the restaurant, just hit curbside pickup. We'll bring it right to your car. Or you can go through our drive-through. Our average speed of service is about five minutes and four seconds. So we'll get you in and get you out. <laughs> Very cool. Well, Tasha, it was my pleasure Aww. to be here with you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Absolutely. All right. For Tasha Fox, I'm Travis Wilson. This has been Grow and Flow. Thank you for watching.